Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna do a very realistic, everyday, get ready with me chit chat. I am using exclusively products that live on my vanity, both high end and drugstore. Drugstore is kind of totally killing it right now and I'm here for it. So expect a hybrid of both drugstore and luxury. Let's hop in. Who of you watched my primer showdown video because I'm about to do the biggest spoiler this is the RMS Beauty Gripping Primer and I'm so obsessed with it. I am so happy that I spent three days of my life doing the exact same makeup with the same skincare in the morning, the same foundation, which we are gonna go in with again today. I'm gonna go ahead and actually get going and pump a little on my glass palette right here. Uh, I am so loving how these two products work together. It was just super enjoyable to do a video like that where I kind of felt like a true makeup investigator. Like we got the truth. This was the most unexpected winner too, but I am so hooked. My skin loves this primer. I do wanna do a little bit of that's the only thing I would do different that I didn't do in that wear test because I just wanted to focus on one primer at a time. We're going in, you guessed it, tart smoothing just around my pore problem areas. Okay, make sure that's all smashed in. Just You just wanna really smack it in the skin. Moving into foundation, I am using my 24 hour long wear makeup for combo to oily skin from Revlon, they do have a dry skin version, but I prefer this one and I definitely am combo. However, a lot of you guys are gonna be a little confused by this. Some of you know, for a long time, I've enjoyed putting just one little drop will do you of oil in with my foundation that I'm gonna apply for the day. It shears it out just a tiny bit, helps the blendability, makes the skin look incredibly, just like soft filter finish and not crunchy. And this one's a long wear foundation that doesn't get crunchy, but it definitely can sometimes break apart in the lines. And I find that using an oil really helps. I just took a couple of pumps on my palette and now I am going in with True Botanicals Pure Radiance Oil. You need such a small amount of this. I've been thoroughly impressed with this oil. I mentioned it in my best products just launched at Ulta video. I will link that below. Literally, I used the tiniest amount. I'm gonna mix this together and we are gonna pounce it on the face. It just gives like the nicest extra cushiony glow, perfect lay down of the product. I've been loving this combo. It has been my absolute every day. So as I am blending this in, I am gonna chat with you guys about a serum from True Botanicals that I've been using for about a month and I am so hooked. This literally hits every high note where I don't have to use five different serums at night. It's very much a potent all in one but it does not make me break out, clog my pores. It's very rich, it's brightening, it's line and texture smoothing, it does all of the things. And I am just really in love and impressed with the results that this has given me. I try so much skincare and this has been a brand that was sent to me. It is the Chabula, according to their own TikTok, Chabula Active Serum from True Botanicals which is available on ulta.com. Thank you so much to True Botanicals for sponsoring this video. I'm in love. I want the whole line, like head to toe. This really did a good job with texture. And also I feel like it is brightening my skin up. Chabula is incredibly potent, powerful antioxidant. It is going to help you uh, minimize photo damaging of the skin, but this also has vitamin C, hyaluronic acid. I love the glass jar. I love that it's made without any synthetic waxes, synthetic fragrance. It's just a really beautiful formula and I've been excited about these two products right here. Right now it is available online. And if you go to their site, this is kind of what really got me in and made me get very, very serious about trying it. The before and afters on their website are insane. If anything, go to their website and look at the before and afters 
because they show you a 30 day look side by side. And you will see what I'm talking about because I'm seeing some of those results myself. I've been using this twice a day. The oil I use as a last step everywhere on my face at night before I go to bed. I also take the excess on my cuticles and whatever other excess I kind of put on the ends of my hair, my knees, my elbows. I'm kind of in that game where I'm like a little extra help, why not? And then also mixing it in to my foundation has been really, really beautiful. So definitely worth a look. If you are into upgrading your skincare, I think a serum is an area where you really want to go full steam and get the good stuff. And I've just been really happy replacing like five different serums with one. I'm kind of laughing at myself that I was calling it the Chebula um, serum, which I was like, Chebula, a potent antioxidant. It kind of sounds like a planet, doesn't it? And then I looked up like, how do you say it? And it's Chebula. So it's not Chebula, but I keep wanting to call it that, like stop it, ah. Yeah, literally in a clinical trial, it said 100% of people saw softer and smoother skin after one week. 97% saw a reduction in the look of fine lines and wrinkles after four weeks. Uh, let's see here, a lot of great reviews. Chabula, an Ayurvedic, I can say that word no problem, an Ayurvedic fruit and one of the most bioactive and powerful antioxidants in nature, give it to me, helps to target five signs of aging, minimizing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, visibly evening skin tone, smoothing roughness, giving the look of firmer and brighter skin. Chabula is known as one of the most bioactive, photostable, broad spectrum cascading antioxidants with an auric score higher than acai. I can say that too. Okay, skin is left hydrated, glowy, and more youthful looking. Plus, as a bonus, it is hypoallergenic and non-comedogenic. If you worry about breakouts with a heavier hydrating product like this, I don't think you need to. It's made in a way that is not going to clog your pores. Okay, there we have it. That is like my skin care must have at the moment. And we're gonna move now into some concealer. I was looking back at old Snapchats, you guys, like just this morning, cause I am posting my fitness journey, which we'll talk about in a moment here. I am posting on IG and over on Snap. I'm still trying to figure out how to get the quality better on Snapchat. If any of you guys know, let me know. Cause whenever I post, I'm like the quality degrades terribly. I'm trying everything to figure it out. Anyway, I'm posting my workouts. And then I went into like, they have this area where it's like, you posted this five years ago. By the way, I am still absolutely hooked on this Can't Stop, Won't Stop NYX concealer. It makes me wanna try all of their concealers and revisit their foundations. And I kinda haven't used much from NYX in a long while. And this made me really, really excited. It's so good. Okay, so I was looking back. Oh my gosh, my lips were huge, like, Oh my gosh, five years ago, someone should have smacked a syringe out of my hand so quickly. I look like a radically different person. Like my whole face shape is different. Also, oh, it is so just weird to see and tell, but I was depressed. Like you can see it. Like I don't, I'll, I'll start crying. I don't wanna do that in this video. But I look back and I'm like, oh my gosh. Like my eyes are empty. They are void. There's just this blank, dark nothingness going on there. And you know, I always put on a good show until I went away for a year and I didn't. Um, I really used to let things get to me so much. And recently the challenge has been that I set everything down, like I joke around, I'm like, I am my own manicurist, I do my own brows, I don't get lash extensions, I don't get facials, no filler, no Botox. And when you go online and there's just like a sea of perfection, I'll admit, I can feel like garbage about myself really, really quickly where I'm like, wow, like, does anyone like, really wanna take beauty advice from me anymore. Like, I don't know. Like, and sometimes I can really go down that tunnel. And then I saw a video of myself from five years ago 
And I'm like, wow, no, no, attitude changed. We have come a long way. I take better care of myself. My diet is clean and good. I have great nutrition and I'm not just eating potato chips and frappuccinos and skirting by and skipping meals. And I'm working out and I take care of my skin and I'm doing all of the things. I'm just happy with where I'm at, I guess is what I am saying. I'm happy with the simplicity of my routine and how I do things and what I've prioritized. This is really good. This is from Laura Mercier. This is the Under Eye Secret Setting Powder. This will really blur out those fine lines. Um, but I will say something that has helped what I would call like brightness in the face and just like a clearness in the head has been my workouts that I do myself. I spent a lot of money on personal training and I loved it. It was therapy to me. I loved my trainer, but I wasn't gaining a ton of muscle because I was so burning the candle at both ends. And now that I have this quiet to myself and I literally, I told James, I'm like, I need to get a yoga mat because this is embarrassing. I'm working out on a beach towel from Target. And like, sometimes I post and I'm like, oh no, that's the one with like the hair dye spill. And like, that looks terrible. Like, what am I doing? But I'm just like, you know, why not? Let's just post it in stories and just, it helps me to stay accountable. And a lot of you guys are like, we love it. You're inspiring me to work out. And I'm like, you're inspiring me. It's like this nice thing, right? We need more powder. We're gonna go in with a little Laura Mercier talc free. I'm still so into this. We're gonna do a tiny bit of a bake. So my like workout routine, cause you guys are just asking me nonstop. I'm always going to share when I post that. I'll do a slide after showing you whose workout I follow. For weight training, if I don't want anyone talking and I just wanna do the routine, I do Carolyn Gervin. I love MadFit for, really she does like all different types of workouts, but I like how she explains things and it feels doable. Like her HIIT workouts for me are doable and I don't feel like a fumbling fool. Um, Eleni Fit, Alani Fit, I will list everyone in the description box, by the way. Her Pilates, oh my gosh. Okay, for one, I feel like such an idiot sometimes when I'm like doing the, you know, this and this, but my balance is improving. It's like hand-eye coordination and balance and you're really thinking about how you're moving and being mindful and the stretching is good and it's a good workout and you're hitting muscles that are so small that you don't normally access. So the next day you're like, oh my gosh, I didn't even use weights and I am struggling and it's just like such a nice feeling. So I'm doing Pilates, HIIT workouts, full body workouts with light weights, heavier weights, like we are all over the place and I'm loving it. And I don't go more than like 40 minutes at a time and it feels attainable and doable and I'm not gonna give up, you know? Like there have been moments where I'm like, I'm starting my routine and then I'm like, I can't, I'm depressed. And I'm like, no, no, we're not doing it. I've just had enough. Like, so I just wanna be consistent with this and I'm enjoying it. And I might not be lifting like the heaviest weights ever. Like sometimes people will comment and they'll be like, you're never going to bulk up if you use those dainty little weights. And I'm like, you know, I'm trying to not like, I don't know, pull a muscle. I'm going at my own pace and I'm just doing it and I'm canceling out the noise and just going for it. So I recommend start anywhere. And I've been blown away with how much you can find for free on the internet. You don't need a gym membership. So there you go. Absolutely obsessed with this Sigma matte bronzer and light. We're just gonna do a little, like this is literally what I do when I'm getting ready, like for the grocery store. When I'm gonna go out and I just wanna look a little pulled together. RMS Beauty sent me some gorgeous lip liners. Shout out to them. I've been putting cayenne pepper in my water and honestly, my mouth is kind of on fire at the moment. I keep thinking like, what did I put on? Like, oh, you're trying that whole thing. You're putting cayenne pepper in your water. I don't know. I saw a TikTok and someone was like, this is good for your, purify your blood. And I'm like, let's do it. 
But the reality is I love anything spicy. So, I mean, I may as well be putting tapatio in my water. James thinks it's disgusting how much I love spicy everything. Um, Ciate, no, not, that's a makeup brand, not Ciate. <laughs> Ciate makes my favorite taco shells. I'm grain free with avocado oil taco shells. They came out with these habanero. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. I always get like schooled on how I say my peppers incorrectly. It's this orange bottle and literally it's like fire. If you wanna dump gasoline and light a match to your food like me, you will love this. The ingredients are like next to nothing and there's little sodium in it, like next to no sodium, and it's delicious, and it's all I've been eating, and I've been putting cayenne pepper in my water, and I'm like, I wonder why my mouth is so burning, like there's a burning sensation right now. That's weird. Oh my gosh. I'm using Rare Beauty. I have not shared with you guys that I love this. I like the mirror, I like the formula, I like the color. I am using the shade just brown and everything about it A to Z is like A++. Okay, do we see like how great that is? Are you kidding me? It's like soft, but also it's there. I like it so much. Now we need blush, actually. I was gonna go into eyes, but we need some blush. I'm gonna go into this Scott Barnes blush palette. I'm gonna go into the hot pink right here. I do love the hot pink trend. This palette's really cool because you can kind of work that into some other shades and it doesn't have to be so super neon. It's kind of a little bit like that impossible to track down, what, $40 Dior blush? Are you guys in it? Do you love that? I don't. I just, I don't get it. I don't think it's very pigmented and maybe that's the point. Um, but this gives like a nice, pretty, just like pop, pop, pop. Beautiful, sophisticated, natural, but still like a pop of color. I really like it. Okay, now we're gonna go into a little bit of highlight. This has such a grip on me. Oh my gosh. Like, are you even kidding me? I'm extraordinarily proud of myself for discovering this. When I can find a drugstore gem that no one else is talking about, and it is total solid gold. This comes in five shades. It is from Physician's Formula, and it is a dupe, in my opinion, for the Hourglass Ambient Powders, but it kicks off like a little bit more even. Do you see that? Okay, this is not gonna exaggerate pores or texture of any kind, but you look at the pan and it's just like, what is that setting powder? It looks like nothing, but it's everything. And you can kind of go aggressive with it too. And you, it's almost like you just can't screw it up, which I love that kind of makeup. We're gonna go into a little Natasha Denona. She has a new palette that looks so beautiful. Um, we're gonna go in the crease. This is the shade Nurture. I have a new show I'm obsessed with right now. Well, we're only two episodes in, but it's all I can think about. I can't wait to watch it tonight. It's called Silos, have you guys seen this? Oh my goodness. I'm not normally into these kind of end of the world, whatever shows. James is like, oh, I found a show for us. I was kind of like, but oh my gosh, it's so good. Who's watched? Mm -hmm. We're getting places. I now want to put on my mascara before liner. I've already curled my lashes. I'm going to go in with this RMS Beauty mascara. It's got a ginormal wand. Love that. And I'm going to load my lashes right on up. Now I'm gonna go in with my chocolate syrup from Lancome. And I am going to now do the wing part of my liner, which I recently discovered that if I do this after mascara, I have a better time getting a more lifted look because I have this bone in the way that as time passes on is getting a little bit trickier to work with to get my wing liner, not just symmetrical but not going down when I'm looking straight ahead. So I've had to get a little bit crafty with it and 
this is really working for me because I can kind of see the edge of where this last lash is and not go too far out. I literally will take that edge, that lash right there. It's kind of being my guide with my eyes open. I will kind of do this. Do not be scared. We can clean it up if we need to. And then I can go out like that. And this way, when I'm looking, not that I walk around life like this, but when my eyes are wide open, it's not doing a weird shape that I don't want it to be. All right, we got one on. And then, cause you see how hard it would be just to do that on its own. So now I'm gonna kind of bring it down and it'll allow me to not go all the way in. We're just gonna go about half. And we'll move to the other side. I am gonna apply a little more mascara. Sometimes the mascara will get kind of clumped together. Actually, we can do that right now. And the other thing that I like about this mascara, which you did not hear it from me, this would be stuff that I would tell my sisters because it's like not recommended. When this mascara dries, it doesn't have a stick to it. So if you choose to do the makeup sin of curling your lashes after mascara, it won't get stuck to the actual um, lash curler, which is really great because then you can get those puppies like really curled up and you don't, in my opinion, have as much of a desire for false lashes. Okay, so we're gonna get this other side going. And now I'm gonna clean that up just a little bit and more mascara on this side. And I am gonna go on the lower lash with a waterproof mascara. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. It just, in my opinion, works so well on the lower lash. It does not flake, it does not smudge, it does not budge and the shape of the brush just really helps you to get that separated kind of baby doll look. All right, the mascara has dried enough. I am gonna go in to this MAC palette that I clearly am still obsessing over. I'm gonna go into this chocolatey brown at the bottom and just circular motions on that outer edge, just right up to where the wing is, just to kind of give me a little something. And I am, <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna keep this so simple. I am gonna take a little bit of the shade Babies in the Natasha Denona palette and just tap, but not get in the way of the liner. And there you have it. I feel very fresh and pulled together. This didn't take a lot of time. So I hope you guys enjoy a look at my favorite products in a realistic everyday makeup routine. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. Ring that bell so you're notified when I upload future videos. I'll have everything listed in the description box below, including info on True Botanicals, who I want to thank for partnering with me on this video. I am such a fan and so excited to be working with this line. Go check out their website for those insane before and afters. Also, they are available on Ulta.com. All right, you guys, that's it from me. Go have a good one. Whatever you are doing, I am sending you so much love and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.